Hey guys, what's up? This is Pyro here, back for some more Majora's Mask 3D on the Nintendo 3DS. Last episode, we managed to take down the Great Bay Temple. Pretty happy about that myself. And today, it's time to... I think it is time to uh, put the frogs together. I really do. So, uh, I think there's like an optional cutscene. Over here. Doesn't really give you anything, I, I guess, but... You know, it's a nice little conclusion to the, the Zora storyline. So if you want to do that, you can do that. I mean, not really a me as bad. We have the lead singer here. If I could talk to him, I would. He's like, you did great. You lose voices return. Yeah, yeah, I just saved the world. Let's let's ignore that though. Let's just let's just be happy about the fact that our lead singer's voice has come back, okay? Yeah. Awesome. So uh yeah. And then we get a little cutscene of the rehearsal. You know, I wonder what actually happens. Because, uh, well, I'll let the song play and then I'll continue speaking. Here we go. Jamming. We jamming. Because I am. I'm jamming. Hope you like jamming too. Sick. Okay, now we got that done. There's a few things we can do today, but I wanna... Oops. I wanna assemble all of... The frogs. All of the frogs. First things first, though, we have to go to the Great Fairy Temple. Uh, not the Great Fairy Temple, I should say this is the Fairy Cave for this area. Because... We need to return all the fairies, obviously. So... Let us go! And get out of here. Okay. So, Zora Keep. Very nice, very nice. But we need to uh, head over here. Can I dolphin dive under this? No, I cannot. Game's like, nope, you're not doing that. Alright, I guess I'll like, have to go over here. Nope. <laughs> Epic feel. Thankfully, you don't need to have a good dolphin dive ability to actually progress in this game, so, uh... Without further ado, guys, let's hop up here. Oh. Okay, apparently not. Game's like, nope, you're not doing that. Alright. I guess we can just hook shot across, right? Which should be easy. I hope. I haven't even got my hook shot selected. Rookie mistake. Ow. Look at them pro hook shot in skills. Where would you get them? Oh man. I didn't even think I can go there. Oh, come on, dude. That's what you get, you stupid bird, for trying to interfere in my business. I can make that, right? Just about. Just about, man. Not bad. We did get all 15 fairies in the last one, guys, remember? So. Give me my reward. Oh, yeah. Pretty happy with that one. Spooky fairy man, I always find this fairy spooky as heck, but yes, I am the creator's young one. What do I get? So in the original at this point you got a defensive upgrade, but they've switched all the upgrades around in the remake, so I'm curious to see what one it is. Seems like, yeah it is, it is the defensive upgrade, so I think we can now take more damage. As you can see there's like a, a white, well I guess I'll show you guys this first. Like, oh yeah! Yeah, we can take a lot more hits now. Uh, and down the bottom it says, she doubled our defense. And if you can see there, there's actually, uh, you know, a lot of, oops. A lot of uh, white lines around the heart. So that's what that, that's for. And the white lines signify the defense. So, 
Now we got that done. There's a few things we can do. First things first, though, we are going to need to go to a few temples, sadly, because obviously in the Woodfall Temple, not the Woodfall Temple, sorry, um, in the Great Bay Temple, we managed to find a frog, which was awesome. But now that we've done that, it's time to go and free the other frogs. And sadly, they are only freed when, uh, what am I doing here? I'm very time. They're only freed when the uh, spring has returned to the mountain village, so I need to go and defeat the boss again. With that being said, guys, I'm sure you understand. I'll meet you guys, I think, over at the, well, I'm at mountain village now. I need to play that Goron a by, don't I? I should probably transform into the Goron. Like that. Do this. Come on. Play the Ambongo drums, Pyro. Oh my god, that'll put him asleep. So, I think with that being said, guys, I'm going to quickly uh, run in. I guess I should fast forward to the boss fight instead of making you guys sit through it. So, I'm going to do that. He's going to fall off there. And, uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys when I'm going to fight the boss. It shouldn't be too hard. It really shouldn't. Actually, I might even skip the boss fight altogether. I uh, might show some of it. So, here we go. There we go. That is Goat defeated for, like, what, the third time in this playthrough, I think. So, uh, now he's been defeated. Spring will be restored to the Mountain Village, which is what we were looking for here. Pretty good. All right. So, I am going to, uh... Actually, I think I need to need to go through the portal to activate it, don't I? There we go. And that'll bring us back to Mountain Village. Yay. Y yay, so happy. Okay, now that's been restored, guys, as you can see, there is two. A total of two of the frogs here. Now, unfortunately, we're missing two more, and you're probably wondering where they are. Well, the next one, my friends, is at Woodfall Village. So if I can get out of here and head on over to Woodfall Village. Woodfall Village? Woodfall Temple. Don't know how I got them messed up. It is actually the Gecko himself, if you remember that. So what I want to do quickly is I want to head to Woodfall Village here. Goron Mask it again. There he is. Take that off. And yeah, a couple shots and he's dead. And there's the frog. Um, it was pretty pointless doing this before when we got the Gon Gon mask because obviously when we reset the time, everything would you know go back to how it was. But now that we actually do have that, yep. So he's gonna head to the mountains now. And that is two of the other frogs. Where could possibly the last frog be, guys? Oh, right, guys, I forgot to record the intro sequence there, but we're currently in a southern swamp, and uh, one of the sw frogs is here, which is what I'm doing. We have, like, two hours to do this in. I think that should be enough time, though. So he was in southern swamp. Just for those who want to know where it is specifically, I guess it's in the southeastern area. Last area we have to go to here is uh, the actual laundry pool in Clock Town. So... I kind of hope I can get there in time. Because it's going to be a rush. So laundry pool is in the bottom area here. Why isn't uh, the time going slow? I'm just realizing that. I'm pretty sure I played the song of inverted time earlier. To slow it down a little bit. Hopefully this should buy us more time, but we should be okay. Okay. Laundry pulls down here, and just to make sure it is the third day, yeah, we have like two hours left then. Before the sun comes and kills us, or sorry, the... Actually, no, it's dawn of the final day, isn't it? I don't know. Anyway, there's the last frog that we need. Where the hell did he go? Where is there? Hey, man. Yes, it is, it is. Spring has finally come. So there's four to four, guys. And then we'll go back to Mountain Village. 
I'm kind of hoping you can do this during the night. I don't know if you can. I'm hoping you can. Getting major lag on that? Wow. But yes, the pool should be over here, right? Yes, it's me. Sing the tune, boys. Yay. All that for a piece of heart. <laughs> I can't believe that, man. I really can't believe that. So that's an optional side quest. Quite a lot of work, in my opinion. Like, just for one freaking additional heart, but... Let's quickly head on over to Zor Temple again, or Great Horse Bay. I want to do this before, uh... I guess before... Is Zor Cape I want to go to, or Great Bay Coast? Great Bay Coast. Um, there's one more optional mini game here. Let's just see if I can get it done before the moon comes and eats us. Because he is mighty close there. Yeah, well. Just in case. I'm gonna head over here. Over here, you can see there's an island. And, uh, oops, I almost forgot. I have to actually hook shot onto it. So let me take that off. I guess put that on. I guess I'll put the bunny mask on as well. Oops. And I want to wait until I get a clear indication on my hook shot that I can hit it. Come on. Come on. Yes. Sure. Let's go. He's gonna light the torches, and I have to jump to the lit torch. Here we go. What? Are you kidding me? I don't know what happened there. I really don't. Alright, here we go. I'm more so afraid of uh, the time running out on this and the moon killing me than anything else, to be honest. I don't know if I'm actually going to be quick enough here to do it, so we'll give it a go and see if we can do it here. It's just really about lining up your direction correctly, because I keep on falling off, and if you fall into the water, it's game over immediately, so just be aware. That is the moon you're hearing, by the way. I think I might just be able to squeeze it in, I'm not sure. Does the moon impact at midnight? So... I mean, we've got another, like, couple minutes of this left. I don't know necessarily if I'm gonna survive that long, so... It'll be interesting to see if the moon occurs during a minigame, that'd be pretty freaking hilarious. I never- I actually don't even think I've seen the ending of the game, in terms of when the moon crashes. I've seen everything else, uh, but I, I never purposely, you know, let the moon crash into Termina. Just not the type of guy I am. Don't like seeing inevitable doom and destruction, so to speak. So we get 20. I think anything above 20 will actually give us it, so I think all I need to do here is chill, right? I'm going to get 25 for good measure, although the worst thing I could do at this point would be, you know, killing myself here. I probably weep at that. Okay, let's just sit and gaze at the moon now. Uh oh, we got like five minutes before the moon ends. I think I should be able to get my card piece though. Thankfully. That ominous music, dude. Let me get 30. I got 30. That'll do me. That haunting song. I always hated the music when I was younger. I really did hate it. Is 
Yay! There we go. You hear that ambient in the background? Where is the moon now? Let's check. Man, look at that. So close. Anyway, song of time. Get away from this spooky place now. We've got that. Do not like it all, Dan. Do not like. There we go. <sighs> Crises averted. For now. For now. You know, it could be a lot worse in the future. You might take all my stuff. I don't care. But, you know, now we're back on the first day. It's pretty good. Pretty good. We can do a lot of stuff. Just glad I got the. That mask, or sorry, the Dong Jero choir together. That's a big pain in the ass, man. Not a huge fan of that. Anyway, quickest way to the canyon is through there. Who cares about the canyon, man? Look at all them hearts. Look at all them hearts. I'm pretty happy about that. So, guys, on that note, I am going to uh, send out this episode here. Join me next time. I think we've got a little bit more collecting to do, and then we're going to be heading over to the final dungeon in the game. So, this is Pyro sending out. Have a very nice day as usual, and I shall catch you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!